Hey guys, welcome back. So, tonight we have a question about everybody's favorite topic, which is sex. Now, it's been a while since I've answered a purely straightforward sex question, but here we go. It's from Steve in Germany. He says, uh, Hi Mark, I have a question for you. After having watched a lot of your porn videos and having absolutely loved them, I've noticed how good you are at deep throating. How's that? Did it take you a lot of practice to become that great, or were you just blessed with plenty of talent? What tips would you provide regarding deep throating? Would love to get an answer from you, and by the way, would love to see your comeback in front of the camera. Love and greetings from Germany. All right, Steve. Well, first of all, this may be kind of disappointing to you, but to be quite honest, deep throating does absolutely nothing for me. It's not something that I particularly enjoy doing. It's not something that I think is especially hot. But there there are guys who enjoy it, so it, it is a, a nice thing to be able to do for somebody who enjoys it. Now, when I was younger, there was a guy I used to play with um, who had a perfectly shaped dick. You know, it was long, but not too long. It was thick, but not too thick. It was perfectly straight, and he really enjoyed oral. So I, you know, I, I enjoy playing with him and, you know, little by little I would go further down on it and after quite a bit of practice I was able to, you know, do, as you call it, just deep throating, but take it all the way down. So I don't think that it's some <laughs> special talent I was, as you, what did you say, blessed with, ta blessed with, but, um, you know, it was, uh, acquired by practice basically and it's probably uh one of the more fun things you can practice doing uh if, if you've got to spend your time and effort practicing something sex is not a bad thing um and i i don't think there's any hard and fast <laughs> hard and fast uh rules for deep throating that work for everybody you know, one, some people have a super sensitive gag reflex that they're just not able to overcome. Uh, if that's you, it's probably not even worth pursuing, but based on your email, that doesn't sound like it. Now, you can practice with your partner, as I said, uh, or if you're not partnered, um, you know, uh, a variety of guys that you hook up with, which is actually probably even better. Why? Because different guys have different shaped penises. You know, some are some are longer, thicker, or shorter, uh, have an odd curve, whatever it may be, odd proportions, thicker at the top, thin, I mean, th thicker at the base, super thin at the top. All of that goes into whether or not you're able to, you know, do the deep throating. So there may be some guys you're able to do it with, and other guys you can't. Now, if you find somebody with the right shape and all of that for you, what are some tips for being able to do it? Well, I, I would say position uh, is probably one of the most important things. Um, try a few different positions. Uh, what, what works for me may not work for you. And, and I'll give you a perfect example. So some people love the idea of face fucking. And you see this a lot in porn where the person's head is over, they're on their back, the person's head is over the edge of the bed, and the guy giving it is just going to town. I hate that position. As a matter of fact, it really doesn't work for me. But it's very popular and works for a lot of people. Try it. Try a few different positions. See what works for you. Um, uh, what else? Uh, lubrication is important, so whether that be spit or a little bit of lube, uh, that's up to you. I personally don't like a lot of spit. That turns me off. Uh, so I always, when I do oral, when I'm giving someone oral, I always use a little bit of lube, a little bit of silicone lube. Very little. I mean, you certainly don't want to be uh, ingesting a lot of it or covering the, you know, the person in lube. But a little bit for the added lubrication helps, you know, make it more pleasurable for me. And it certainly helps with deep throating. But that's up to you. Make sure there's enough lubrication there. Experiment with the position. Um, remember that the the shape of your partner's penis is going to be a, a, a big factor in that. And, uh, you know, I've heard things online where people say practice with a <laughs> with a banana or practice with a dildo. That is just utterly ridiculous in my opinion. Imagine sitting at home 
practicing sucking on a banana. It's not that serious. I would, I could never do that. The dildo makes a little bit more sense, but even then, I am not going to sit at home by myself practicing sucking on a dildo. That said, if you want to practice that way, have at it. You know, uh, it, it may help you test your gag reflex and see just how much you can do, but I think it'd be more fun to practice with a partner. Finally, if you can't do it, no big deal. Um, you do not want to make yourself uncomfortable or have an unenjoyable experience just to try to replicate something you see in porn. Porn sex is not super comfortable. You would not want to have porn sex every day of your life. It's a, you know, when, when guys are on set filming porn, it's about making sure that uh, it's positions and angles that look good for the camera look good for the viewer, doing things that are stimulating to the viewer, not necessarily what feels best to them. So make sure whatever you do, and this is true for any aspect of sex, that you're comfortable with it, it feels good to you, and you're really enjoying it. You're, that you're not just going through the motions because you saw it in porn. Um, that's Actually, no, there's one other tip I have for you. Um, if you're able to, to deep throat, if your practice pays off and you're rewarded with the with the ability to deep throat, do it sparingly. Um, whenever you're doing something that creates an intense sensation for someone, you don't want to do it too frequently because it be particularly during the same encounter because then they become desensitized to it. So a little bit of something like a, like deep throating goes a long way. You would not want the entire time you're you're giving your partner oral to be deep throating. It's not going to be pleasant for him. It's not going to be pleasant for you. So remember, do it sparingly if you're able to do it. So uh, Steve, thanks for your question. I hope my answer helps you out. Guys, thanks for tuning in. And don't forget, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would really appreciate it.